Mm. Recording. Recording in progress. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Después hace falta Hello. estar escuchando ese recording in progress. Recording in progress. <laughs> Hi. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I was I, I was having some issues with the session. I don't know why it didn't appear on my screen. So I was looking for that everywhere. Okay, I, I love your I love your uh, graduate hat. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I think I need to get one. <laughs> good evening. Uh, hello, good evening. Welcome, Brandy. Hi, Brandy. Hi. Vaya, no pusieron música de graduación. Ah, ¿dónde la? Ya ni es. Ahorita lo apago, ahorita lo apago. No, Brittany. The party's after the class, Jenny. Yes. It's a graduation. Yeah. Hi, Norma. How are you, Norma? Hi, very good. Thank How you. is your husband? In the bed. In bed, okay. Ya mejor, gracias a Dios. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's see. Only Jorge is right now with from uh, connected from the boys. And the rest. So let's see, we have different green colors here, different uh, types of green. Okay, let me check. Okay, so did you uh, practice any English today? Yeah, we practice. Nice. What do you practice exactly on the platform? Reading, speaking, vocabulary? Uh, no, just reading the last part on the PDF. What is this? Um, uh -huh. On the manual. Manual, yeah, right. Okay, on the manual, got it. Yeah. Like a, when it's a question, we have to give this intonation. When you see a comma or point, you have to like a, uh, wait, <laughs> take your time. I don't know how to say it. Like a, tomar como tragar saliva, no sé, como tomarse una pausa. Mm -hmm. Like I take a time and like I mark this uh, coma or when it's a question, give this uh, information. Uh, yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you gotta pass. You gotta pass. Uh, that it's what the symbols are for or the punctuation marks, let's say, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know, but I see like a dark stuff under my neck, but I don't have anything here. So, mm. spirit, maybe. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, believe it or not, this is green. Okay. This is the only green shirt that I have. It's kind of uh, dark green. I think it's yeah. somehow, somehow similar to the one that Edmaha is wearing today. Yeah, it's kind of black. It's out of drinking tea. That's healthy. Yes. Only tea I, I can drink. No coffee, right? No, no coffee. No soda. Yeah. 
okay, that's an issue. But you already got used to it, so that's the most important part. When I say you already got used to it, it's ya se acostumbró, right? You already got used to that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get used to something. Mm -hmm. That is acostumbrarse a algo. I will write it in the chat. Get used to something. So for example, I already got used to uh, waking up early, let's say. Uh, that would be uh, for this past weeks because <laughs> I got a new schedule. So I think I already got used to that. All right, so uh, Nelson, Jorge, uh, Oscar, Susana, and Sylvia, welcome. Okay, there is something that I um, I wanted to mention today, but um, it's about the platform. Uh, in case you have doubts, in case you have doubts, uh, I will be uh, paying attention, right, to any doubts, any questions you have or problems you have with the exercises so that um, you can ask me, right, uh, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Uh, I will have a little more free time so that I can um, access, right, I can access the, the chat and the platform to help you out. But today we're going to take a moment to check, okay? Um, some of the exercises or the final exercises on the platform in case you, you need to know, okay? How to do something there. Um, all right, so let's get started. And now we are enough, we are enough. Um, we are 12. Nubia is here. Hello, Nubia. Welcome, Edwin. Same for you. As you can see, your classmates already have the special uh, hats for the graduation. I don't remember how to say that in Spanish. What do you call this that you put on your head when you graduate? Birrete. Birrete. Okay. Um. So you can choose a video filter, I think, and you can select that one uh, for the... Uh, you have to touch your, like a picture here on Zoom, click your, can you hear? You froze. I'm frozen? You, uh, yeah, you was. You have to blur. click on your right side and you go to uh, blur under blur my background then you have to mm -hmm. see choose virtual background mm -hmm. and virtual you background your video filter your avatar yeah yeah i think it's a video filter yeah it's yeah, video it filter yeah i know i show them <laughs> <laughs> all right so um uh, we're ready to go Okay, so we're graduating today. Uh, everybody has the indications or the information, right, about what is next, right? After you finish this this uh, this module, you already know what you have to do for the next module, right? No, really. Not really. What do we have to do? Okay, so. Uh, no, I'm asking you because I asked, right? Uh, if there is information that I have to share with you today, and they told me that, mm -hmm. no, that you are notified about the steps to continue in the course. Okay, thank you. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I'm, if everything is okay, I will go to uh what is intermediate what is the other name after intermediate advanced after, this is a pre-intermediate the next one is intermediate and then you have yeah. advanced uh, i will go well to you have upper intermediate advanced. and advanced upper intermediate and advanced yeah 
So, uh, no, in case you have any doubts, uh, you know that in the WhatsApp group, there are some people from Inglés Corporativo that can give you any technical information, right, about the course and about what to do, right, about what to do next. So uh, today we're going to get started. Uh, as you remember, yesterday we started with the explanation, right, about the messages we tell and ask, we practice, we did some exercises, and um, we also uh, practice the reduction, the reduction of could you and would you, right? Remember that is could you and would you, right? So you make a little reduction there or connection, let's say, and um, In this case, what we're going to do just to practice a little bit, a little bit of speaking, we are going to do the role plays. And for that, I'm going to share the screen with you. Later, later on, we're going to practice more speaking with specific topic. But right now, we're going to do the exercise from the manual. Okay. So as uh, you will see in a moment, there are student, uh, there are different roles for student A and student B. You're going to the breakout rooms. So it's important that you take a screenshot right from the exercise. This is on page 104. Okay, 104. And the role play is called Who's Calling? Who's Calling? Quien llama, right? Quien se llama? So, student A, call your friend Andrew to tell him this. You have a specific message. There's a party at Ray's house on Saturday night. Ray's Address is 414 Maple Street, apartment 202. Pick me up at 8 p.m. Student B, someone calls for your brother, Andrew. He isn't in. Take a message for him. Then, when you finish the role play, you change the role. And you have a student A and student B. So, for example, let's say Saura and Norma practice together, right? Saura is student A and Norma is student B. In the second role, Saura is going to be student B and Norma is going to be a student A. In the second role play, you have someone calls for your sister, Janet. She isn't in, okay? She's not in the house. So what you're going to do is to take a message for her. So a student B is going to uh, call the friend Janet to tell her this. There's no class next Friday afternoon. The class is going to a movie at Westwood Theater. Meet us in front of the theater at 4.30. Uh, I think that we can keep the same role. For example, uh, Isaura can be A in conversation one and A in conversation two because the information is different. and. Um, the idea is that you can use also expressions. For example, may I speak to or may I talk to is a way that you ask to, okay, let's suppose that you call me right now. Okay, hello, um, who's this, right? And then it's like, oh, hi, it's me, uh, Jorge. May I speak to Brandy, please? Ah, okay, Jorge, you want to talk to Brandy. But she's not home right now. Uh, or I can say, sorry, but she, but Brandy isn't here or she isn't here. And then in this case, Jorge can tell me, oh, can I leave a message? Puedo dejarle un mensaje? Sure, no problem. Or I can ask the question, can I take a message? And then uh, let's suppose that. Uh, Jorge wants to tell Brandy that he wants to practice English in the afternoon tomorrow, right? So in this case, Jorge can say, uh, yes, can you please tell her that I want to practice with her? I'm, I want to practice English with her tomorrow afternoon. And please ask her to call me back as soon as possible. ¿Ok? Fueron dos cosas. Una, que, que, que yo le dijera a Brandy que, que quería practicar inglés con ella mañana en la tarde. 
y segundo, que le devolviera la llamada tan pronto pudiera. Ok, so uh, one statement, one request, an example, right? And then after Jorge tells me that, I will be like, ah, okay, no problem. I will give her the message or I will give her the message. Okay, or I will tell Brandy, don't worry. Have a good day, bye-bye. And then, and, then and then you hang out the phone, right? So um, that is what you're going to do right now. You are going to have a conversation where you try to communicate with someone, but the person is not at home. So you have to leave a message. Okay, is that clear? It's clear for me. So, so. Okay, so you just have to, okay, I will do the, the example for you with the first role play. Let's suppose that, uh, I don't know, I'm going to practice with. Can I help you? Janet, Janet, are you there? Evelyn Janet. Hello, good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. I, okay, well, good I evening hear. in this case. Good evening. <laughs> I hear. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, I am going to call, okay, because I, uh, I want to talk to Andrew. Andrew is your brother, okay? So, uh, but he is in the house. He is in, in, okay? That's the, the situation, the scenario. Ready? Um, ready? Okay, ring, ring. Answer the phone. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, yes. Uh, I need to talk to Andrew. Is is he there? And uh, no, he's not. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, can I leave a message with you? Oh, okay. Uh, you... Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, could you please tell Andrew that there is a party at Ray's house on Saturday night? Uh, his address is 414 Maple Street, apartment 202. And please ask him to pick me up at 8, at 8 p.m. Ah, okay. I I called uh, my brothers. Your I I take your messages. Okay. In this case, pay attention to the to the example. Right. You have an example here. Uh, the expressions, the vocabulary expressions. You can say, for example, I will give. Mm -hmm. I will give him or I will give Andrew the message. I will heal Andrew's the messengers. Give. give the message. Okay. The message. Okay. Thank you so much. What's your name? Sorry. Uh, Janet. Oh, Janet, you are his sister, right? Yes. Okay. So thank you so much, Janet. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so that's it. That's what you're going to do. When you finish, you continue to the second role play. Okay, in this case, I am going to uh, I'm going to receive the call, and let's suppose Evan is going to call me, right? He, well, uh, they they need to call your friend Janet to tell her this, right? Uh, in this case, I am Janet's brother, right? Uh, so I take the message. Okay, that's it. Now you're going to the breakout rooms. Okay, so please take us. Well, you, I think the, the screenshot is already in the chat. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Brandy. And uh, we're going to go to the breakout rooms to practice the two role plays, the two scenarios. All right, ready, set, wait a second. All right, so we have a five breakout rooms with two uh, or three participants in, in each. Uh, Isaura and Norma uh, Lizano, 
in one, no problem, Jorge. I'm not sure if you can use the microphone, Jorge, to practice with Norma Callejas. And Oscar is listening because he's at the work. Uh, Edma, Nelson, and Jenny. I think that Elma and Je Edna and Jenny can practice. Brandy, Evelyn, Nubia, Jesus, Sylvia, Susana. I'm not sure if um, Nubia, you can use the microphone today. Yes, no. Let me know, please. Just in case, I'm going to move. Uh, Nubia to the breakout room number four in just if um, uh, Jorge and, and Oscar cannot speak so she can practice with Norma. All right, so you're going to have uh, four minutes for these two role plays, okay? Remember to use the useful expressions in the conversation, okay? Say hello, take the message, give the message, and then you say goodbye, okay? And you promise that you will give the message. All right, so here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's move to the breakout rooms. All right, accept the invitation to join the breakout rooms. Nelson, Susana, Norma, Callejas, and Jorge, please. Nubia is alone waiting for you. Susan, Sylvia, nice. Brandy, Evelyn. Oscar is alone. What happened here? Okay, they're already there. Okay, Norma Callejas, you can already accept the invitation. Jorge, you too. And Nelson. Okay, there you go. Evelyn, I think that uh, Brandy had some problems, so I'm going to send her back here to practice with you. Okay. Uh, Brandy is coming. Brandy is coming right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. Similar to the example that I that I practiced with you. Uh -huh. The two. The two of them. Ah, okay. Perfect. Yeah, because of time you can practice just one right now. You got just two more minutes. Ah, okay. Perfect. Gracias. Brandy?
Right. <laughs> you lost connection, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. So you can practice right now with uh, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn, go ahead. Okay. Um, and... uh, I guess it's bien un poco tanto el internet como la computadora que estaba fallando oh, pero, okay. que me ha estado sacando okay. de clase y, no sé qué es lo que tendríamos que hacer disculpe ok I'm here to help you ah, yeah, uh, coach. so this is for a little role play you have to play uh, it's in the whatsapp group right but it's also in the manual on page 104 Who's calling? So you have to give a message or leave a message to another person, right? And the other person is going to answer the phone. So you imagine that it's a phone call. Okay. Uh huh. Let me see. It's the image for the group uh, calls your friend. Yeah. Who's calling? Who's calling? I'm going to share the screen with you. So this is what you're going to practice. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. There's a party. So yes, like, um, uh -huh, hello, yeah. um, I want to talk to, or may I speak to Andrew? And then the other person is like, I'm sorry, but He's not in. He's not at home. Uh, Can uh, I yeah. take a message? And then you say, "Oh yes," and you practice what we what we studied yesterday. Okay. Can you tell him or can you ask him right to pick me up at eight o'clock? Or can you tell him that there is a party? Okay, that there is a party. Uh, so that's what you're going to do. Okay, but right now you only have one minute, so you can practice just a little bit. Okay. Um, hello, Norma. Um, hello. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> you have 60 seconds. Go ahead. Okay, everybody's coming back right now. So, do you have enough time to practice, Isaura? Hi, teacher. Hello, do you have enough time to practice? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So let's just wait for the rest. Okay, so now that the majority of you are back, we're going to move on to the next example. I'm going to show you an example on, the, on another uh, site. Okay, more or less what a business scenario would be like taking or leaving a message, right? So for example, when you take a message on the phone, okay, because you know, sometimes you have to use English on the phone. Right? How do you be of assistance? I'm afraid he's engaged or busy. I'm afraid he or she is in a meeting or not available at the moment, right? This is in case you use English for work, okay? Use English for work. I'm sorry, he's out of the office today, or I'm sorry, she's out of the office today. Can I put you on hold? Es como, puedo dejarla en espera, right? Uh, can I take a message? Would you like to leave a message? 
could you give me your number, please? Okay, could you give me your number, please? I'll make I'll I'll make sure that he or she gets the message, right? Me aseguraré que recibe el mensaje. Then, when you leave a message, you normally ask to speak to someone, right? Or speak with someone. So you say, may I speak with, uh, let's suppose I say, may I speak with Nubia Morales, right? Or I would like to speak with Mr. Mr. Cruz, I don't know, Mr. Santana in this case with Oscar, right? Um, when do you expect him or her back in the office? Okay, I need to speak with him on an urgent matter. May I leave a message? Right, puedo dejar un mensaje. Would it be possible to leave a message? Sería posible. Please tell him that, or please tell her that. Please ask him to call me as soon as she gets in, or as soon as possible, right? Uh, so if you see, we practiced that yesterday. Please tell, please ask. Could can can you tell? Can you ask? Like that. And, and we we can also use would. Now let's practice a dialogue. Okay, Mr. Smith is calling to inform Mr. Clark of something important. Okay, so listen and repeat. This is a receptionist and Mark Smith, right? Good morning. This is Happy Marketing. May I be of assistance? Good morning. Good morning. This is Happy Marketing. I would like to speak with Mr. Clark, please. I would like to speak like with, Mr. with Mr. Clark, Clark please. please. May I ask who's calling? May I ask who's calling? This is Mr. Smith from the ACE Solutions Company. This is, this is Mr. Mr. Smith from the ACE Solutions Company. Mr. Smith, I'm afraid the line is engaged at the moment. Can I put you on hold? Mr. Smith, I am the line is engaged at the moment. Can I put you on hold? I'm afraid I have to go now, but I really need to talk to him on an urgent matter. I'm afraid I have to go now but I really need to talk to him on an urgent matter. Um, I really have to go now. I really need to talk to him on an urgent matter. On an urgent matter. Urgent matter, okay? Una situación urgente. Matter is una situación, right? An issue. Would you like to leave a message then? Would you like, Would you like to leave a message then? That would be great. That would, that would be, be great. great. Please tell him that we revise the terms of the contract. Please tell him that, that we resent the terms of, the of the contract. And that we sent the documents two days ago through email. And that and we, we send the contract today ago through, through email. email. Through email, okay. Through he email. needs to check it. To, okay, listen up. He needs to check it as soon as possible. He needs to check he it as soon as possible. 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 Possible, as, soon as, as soon as possible. As soon hmm? as possible. And the abbreviation is ASAP. Okay, ASAP, right? ASAP. Esa es la abreviatura de, de as soon as possible. Okay, and then get back to us. And, and then, then get, get back, to back to us. If he did not receive the email, if he did not he receive did not the email, Please tell him to call my secretary and she will resend it. Please tell him to Please call tell my, him secretary call my secretary and she will resend it. Resend, resend it. Resend resend it. it. Resend okay. It. Resend.
Duly noted, Mr. Smith. Duly noted, Mr. Smith. Could you give me that phone number, please? Could you give me that phone number, please? Yes. Yes. It's 043 865 4821. Yes, yes. It's 043-865-4821. Thank you very much, Mr. Smith. Thank, Thank you very much, much Mr. Mr. Smith. Smith. I will make sure Mr. Clark gets your message as soon as possible. I will uh, make sure Mr. 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 Clark gets your, your message, message as, soon as, as, as soon as possible. Okay, now let's see how much you remember. Okay. Did Mr. Smith manage to talk to Mr. Clark? Yes or no? Well, no. that Mr. Smith from Mr. Clark? No, he couldn't. No. No, he couldn't. Question no, two. No, he couldn't. What did Mr. Smith decide to do? Yes, he just said. What did Mr. Smith decide to do? He sent this um, mail to, to send an email and to leave a message, right? To leave a message. Uh -huh. And what did Mr. Smith want to tell Mr. Clark? Can I say Mr. Smith and Mr. Clark? Oh. Then I couldn't pay attention on this part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Not the right place. Revisit the terms of the contract. That they revised the terms of the contract and that they sent the two doc the two document days, two days ago. Two days ago through email. Mm -hmm. And he oh. needs to check it as soon as possible. Coach, okay. I have a question. What is the question? Um, when do you use if and when? If and when? Uh, when do you use if? Okay, if is a conditional. If. It's mm -hmm. a conditional. So, for example, if you have a question, ask me. <laughs> if you have a problem, tell me. If, okay, it's a condition. See, si. si tienen problema, dime, okay? You want to practice. Uh, for example, if you want to practice during the day, contact Brandy. <laughs> uh, if you need money, go to the bank. If, yeah. if, uh, I don't know, you can use different example, right? If you like sports, uh, I recommend you soccer, okay? It's a good sport or basketball. Actually today they play basketball, okay? The semifinals, really good. Um, now let's continue. I'm going to stop sharing this because I'm going to share the manual with you. So that is just a conversation, okay? In case you want to uh, to study that link, I can send it to you through the WhatsApp group. So later you can check it out. Now, because of time, please we're going to, hello? Yeah, please send it. Okay, I will send it. I will send it to you. Now, the last but not least, we are going to do the reading about the cell phone etiquette. So, uh, is it okay to use a cell phone in a movie theater? Yes or no? No. 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 In a restaurant? No, really. When you are eating or talking with the people at the table? No, right? You have On to the go. street? Yeah, you can do it. On the street, yes. Like but why why not? Why not? Why phone. not in the movie in the movie theater? Why not? Because everybody is quiet, the you have to pay attention. You pay for just like like right now we are in classes. You just you have to turn off or put to mute your phone because we have to pay attention on something. Mm -hmm. Okay, correct. Now, why not in a restaurant? 
Uh, well, first, like, can I pick? Can I? Sure. Okay, it's like uh, the, in the picture, you, you are sharing with your friends and somebody, you know, call and they was talking about the problems and they was laughing or they somebody were. was. They were. So you can you can talk with your with your uh, partner because you have to hear the other noisy people. Okay. And there is another reason, okay? There is another reason also. Uh... That is called fobbing. Do you know fobbing, the term fobbing? No. Are you no familiar really. with that? Nope. No. Okay, we'll write it. Well, I will show you. I will show you a bit. Okay, it's just two minutes. This is the reason why it's not so recommendable, right, to use a cell phone when you are with other people. Okay, I'm going to share the video with you. Let me know if you can see and hear the video. Okay. I'm going to share it with you now. Can you see it? Yep, I can see. Can, can you hear the audio? No. No, no, I don't hear. Yeah, right now, yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. Okay, listen, this is a, a Coca-Cola commercial, but it's really good, okay? And you see the chat? Let's get more social. Let's get more social. So this is stop fobbing. There is a there is a campaign right about fobbing. Stop fobbing. No more fobbing. And what is fobbing? Okay, pay attention. Head of the night, into the morning, and shine your light. You can see the world for the first time today. I will smile for you. Right, so that is that is a me the message hashtag enjoy now share later. This has a connection with the reading. Of course, this is not about the etiquette. It's about the respect, right? It's about the respect of or the enjoying enjoyment. Let's say of the moments. Okay, that is a message of this. Okay, that we need to focus on the moment on the people right and later you can share pictures videos whatever you want but that is fobbing fobbing means phone snobbing snob is like ignore someone so mm -hmm. fobbing is when you ignore people because you are on the phone okay so um uh, it is recommended right that when you are with people, you disconnect from your phone and concentrate on the moment. 
when you are alone, you use the phone and you connect with people like that. Um, however, you know that in the present is a problem that we have in the world, okay? The majority of the people spend more time on the phone than uh, in, in the real world, okay? Especially the new generations. So what do you do in a situation like this? Imagine you're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Okay, solamente puedes controlar tu propio comportamiento. Here are some few rules. Some few rules. Off means off. Okay? Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, turn off your cell phones, don't use your cell phone. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly, softly, right, suavemente, for a short time. Okay, one minute, two minutes. Okay, what happened? This and Okay, okay. So I'm going to talk to you later. Okay, right now I'm having dinner or right now I'm watching a movie. So not possible. Try to move away from other people. Go to another place. Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to, to go out of the of the of the movie theater, right? Uh or the room. The room, right? And then you go and talk in the bathroom if you want. Now, lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street. Some people cross the street chatting. And then they are run over by a car. So uh, as more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're in, you're getting ready to make a call, like stop and consider the people around you, right? I am in the class. No, it's not a moment. Okay, I'm going to call when I finish the class, right? 10 more minutes and then I will make a call. I will chat later, okay? Because you lose connection, right? And it's disrespectful, okay? It's disrespectful for the people around you. Now, uh, what do I need you to do with this reading? And what would I recommend you to do? Any kind of text that you have, copy the new words, investigate the meaning, investigate the pronunciation, practice the vocabulary, writing sentences, practicing in a conversation, right, that you invent, um, and read out aloud, read out loud, okay? Lean en voz alta, una vez han investigado cómo se pronuncia, no inventen pronunciación. Um, record yourself, okay, se pueden grabar para escucharse, aunque se asuste uno cuando escucha su voz, uh, because it's the way that you see your progress like hey now i speak more fluently now i have better pronunciation Ahora me trago menos. okay so you see your progress when you do that okay so uh yes i'm gringo my gringa right so that's what you do right uh, tengo que pronunciar mejor la, el sonido tal sonido de la r verdad porque digo car y es car Okay, uh, sister, and it's sister, right? Um, then, when you finish reading the article, okay, 
I need you to complete the, the summary with the information from the article. For example, many people talk to on cell phones. What is a compliment? Many, many people talk. <clears throat> Allow. Allow or talk loudly, right? Loudly, okay. Mm -hmm. While you control their behavior, you can follow simple rules. For example, turn your cell phone in public places. Turn what? Turn on or turn off? Turn off. Off. Turn off. Okay. Or set them in silent or vibrate mode, right? Se puede también poner en silencio vibrador. Okay. Speak softly on the phone. And then when you finish, uh, you just agree with some of these expressions, okay? Or these sentences. For example, uh, it's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car, yes or no? No. No. No, so no check here, right? Uh, you should never use a phone in public. Eh, it depends. It depends. It depends. Uh -huh. Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to do? Yes or no? ¿Están de acuerdo con eso? For example, if you are in the bank, you have to. Uh -huh. For example, if the... If the, the you are at the gas station and somebody said, hey, please uh, turn yes, off your cell phone. Right, too. We should do it, right? Si nos lo piden y sabemos que es una regla, pues deberíamos de hacerlo, right? Uh, okay, so this is just opinions. This is just opinions. Now, I'm going to uh, stop sharing, okay? Because we're just missing some uh, very little time, okay? So um, if you have any any doubts, Okay, any doubts? This is your moment to ask, okay, about what we discuss right now, about English in general. If you have any comments about the the, the course, about this, this module, this specific module, or complaints, something that you didn't like, something that you recommend the teacher to do or not to do, okay? This is the moment, okay? Because for, for us, it's important to know your opinion. Right. So, uh, tell me. Okay. Do you have any questions, comments before we go to the final part of the class? That is to check the last exercise of the platform and to take the group picture. So, any questions? Any doubts? Comments? Complaints? No. Everything was perfect, teacher. Thank you for your support for your teach us. Uh, for your time, for everything. Really, thank you. No, 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 not at all. It's, it was my pleasure and I am happy to have known you, right? Uh, it's it's a new, I mean, for me, everybody here is new, so it, it was a, a new experience. It was a nice experience to know you. Uh, even though it was just for 16 hours, it sounds like a little, but I feel like it's been a long time, <laughs> okay, uh, because of all the things that we have been doing, right? So for me, it was a great experience, and and thank you for your words, Randy. I appreciate them. You're welcome. Yeah, it was hard for you, too. <laughs> it was hard for me to what? To Isaura, I will give you my heart, too. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. When you uh, take a picture, we will put the, the heart. Yeah, I I will. I will. I will. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so if you don't have any comments right now, I'm going to go quickly to the uh, check the knowledge check that I have on the platform. So on this page. Okay, you have the, for example, the instructions, you have the indications, and you need to select the correct or the best option, right? For example, number one, 
tell or could? Could you tell Joel that the movie is at seven or could you tell Joel that is the movie at seven? Okay. Option one or option two? Two. Absolutely. Could you tell Joel that, Joel that, that, that is the movie, movie at seven? seven. At seven p. Mm -hmm. Number two, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four o'clock or would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Pick me up or pick up Mitch? Pick me up. Pick me up, pick me, okay. Pick me up. And then uh, you go like that, right? And you complete the five. Just to show you the answer for the first two. Okay, I'm going to go here. Could you tell Joe that is the movie at seven? And then would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four? Okay, excellent. So that is the way that you complete that exercise. And then you have the reading, right? The cell phone etiquette. Uh, that is the exercise that I was asking you to complete, right? As practice. So uh, you need to... Choose the ideas that you think the writer may agree with. Choose four options, four options, okay? So you have to select four from the list. So I need to read, okay? And then uh, that's it, right? Next, you have the final quiz here, okay? So you start with listening. Put the words in order, then uh, what else? Circle the correct word, complete the sentences, complete the request, read the article, and ten, 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 wait a second. And after that, yeah, that's the last one. Read the article. Uh huh. Yep, so you finish there. What is Hawaii? What light? Climate is not found in Hawaii. How, how hot does it get? Where does it rain? So take your time to complete the test. Okay. So any questions about the test or the exercise? Nope. All right. So no question. Everything's clear. Amazing. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to, uh, before we take the picture, I just wanted to say thank you for your effort. Uh, I like how um, committed, right, comprometido, uh, you, you are with this uh, learning process of the language because I can see that you want to learn, okay? The majority of you try to keep in touch, to communicate, right, to practice during the day. So. Thank you also to Brandy, right, for her initiative. That is important, okay? Sirve mucho ese tipo de iniciativas, siempre en los grupos. Y sí se ve que una persona puede hacer la diferencia, ¿verdad? Positiva o negativa. Así que mantengan eso, okay, esa dinámica. And practice, okay? Practice is, is key, right? There are no secrets okay or mysteries the more you practice the more you expose to the language the more you use it every day or in in different ways right you read you write you chat you listen you speak you record yourself on the cell phone you look for a for someone to practice okay a conversation partner uh, you invest it on the internet, you practice in your cell phone, the applications for English, uh, you investigate new words, uh, you repeat the pronunciation of new words. Um, so the more you do that, right, you watch series, movies, news, etc., listen to podcasts, uh, the, your brain is processing that information. At the beginning, it's a little difficult, but believe me, you're getting, your brain is processing, is getting information, is saving information, okay? Aunque no se entienda todo al principio, sí se va procesando y absorbiendo más, okay? Uh, 
como dicen, tanto al entrar al agua, okay, hasta que lo logra. So, um, it's, it's that, right? It's like going to a gym. We need to be consistent, okay, to do it. Um, so, let's take the picture. And um, I think that we're going to take a normal picture, the crazy picture, and the picture with the reactions, right, of a little heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, let me just uh, see if I have enough illumination here okay uh, <laughs> yes of course it's an important day yes okay. this okay. part is less what so no yeah, picture, when you're ready okay. because the, the heart is gone so faster yeah i know i know so right now the normal picture right the formal picture let's say so please activate your uh, camera if it is possible for you, right, to do it. And we're going to take the screenshot in five, four, three, two, one, smile. Okay, we got one, we got one. Wait a second, I'm going to the chat. Okay, I will share the picture there. And now we go with the crazy picture. Okay. Or we go with the picture with the reaction, right? With the emoji. Okay. And then the crazy picture. Uh huh. So the reaction. One, okay. Two, three, wait a second. Three. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm trying to close the chat. Ah, okay. I'm saving the picture. Good. Now. Okay, reaction. Reaction, we're going to use whatever reaction you want, right? A heart, a tada. It's up to you. Here we go. One, two, and reaction time. Three. I think I got the majority <laughs> of you. I think I got the majority of you. Let's see. <laughs> yes, I think I got one, two, three, four, five hearts. Okay, now um, we continue with the last one, the crazy picture for the celebration. If you want to use the Tara reaction, it's okay. And then you just do something, right? Okay, ready, set, crazy picture now. Okay, we got it. Uh, let's see, let's see. Now I open the north window. Wait, here it is, and I'll send it to you. Okay, we don't look so crazy, but that's a crazy picture. <laughs> okay, well, now, I'm uh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, we are crazy in the inside. Okay, I'm gonna send another. Okay, guys, so uh, it was a pleasure. Have an amazing weekend. Um, uh, again, uh, thank you so much for your. Your appreciation towards me for your participation and attention in classes. I really love that. These are my favorite kind of students, right? Students who want to learn and who try their best, right? No matter what. So uh hope to see you anytime in the future, hopefully. Okay. Uh, if you have any English questions, you know that you can contact me. And please continue learning, continue learning. Okay, take the courses. Move on, okay, little by little, little by little, until you get to the advanced level, right? And iba a le va a cambiar los ojos, el color de cabello y la piel. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> se va a convertir en gringos todos. Eh, we're going to uh, stop here. No puedo decir eso. Me cambia el color de cabello. No sé la evidencia de eso. I just started to my change. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> Tons of blessings for everybody, okay? Uh, and I hope that uh, you learned something, okay, from this module. And the next one, it's even better for you, right? Because every module has a, a bigger challenge. <laughs>